Well, hey everybody, what's up? Pastor Derek here. Got some great news for you regarding our August 23rd live stream. We are going to go back to live streaming uh, at 10.30 a.m. on August 23rd. That's a Sunday. And we are, for the first time in a very long time, uh, going to have a live audience during the recording uh, or stream, if you want to call it that. Uh, for those of you who are not aware, we've been recording our services over the last several months on Wednesday or Thursday and then uploading them to premiere at 1030 on Sunday mornings when you watch them. We're not actually at the campus when you see us on the stage uh, leading worship and preaching and teaching. Uh, this coming Sunday or next Sunday, August 23rd, we will be actually live at the campus doing everything as you're watching it. And uh, because we're doing that, we're moving in this direction of hopefully eventually reopening. We wanted to begin by allowing a set number of people to come in and participate with some safety guidelines in place. Uh, we've got several things that, that will be in place, protocols that we want to follow, um, not only for liability, but just to be safe and responsible as we continue to try and flatten the curb. Uh, for one, we are going to ask you to wear a mask. I know if you are someone who is very anti-mask, please bear with us and just do what we're asking you to do here so that we can eventually get to where we don't have to do this anymore. Um, we are going to ask that you wear a mask as you come in and as we sing, because that is where the most transmission of uh, spit and all that stuff is, is happening. Once we're done with worship, then it is totally fine to take the mask off while you're seated. And then, of course, if you have to get up and go to the bathroom or uh, when you're leaving, we will ask you to put it back on. It's very similar to a restaurant. When you go to a restaurant right now, they have you wear a mask until you're seated. You can take the mask off. When you get up, you put the mask back on. Whatever your opinion is, I'm going to ask you out of love for the other brother or sister to please just, for the sake of unity, uh, wear the mask. It will be the best thing for everyone. Next, we have temperature checks. Uh, this is something that you can expect when you arrive to the church. Now, this is important uh, because we have several points of entry in uh, the main building, and, and depending on where you park or where you're normally used to coming in from, uh, this is going to be a little bit different. We're only allowing entrance on uh, August 23rd and for the foreseeable future through the main front doors of the worship center. Everything else is going to be locked. The reason we're doing that is because we want to make sure that everyone who comes in gets a temperature check. Uh, if you have a fever or if you don't feel good, then for the love of everyone else in the building, stay home. Uh, we're still streaming at 1030. So if you've been watching the stream online, nothing is going to change at all. If you're someone who doesn't even want to come to this, nothing changes for you. You will still be able to access the service at the same time through the same avenues, YouTube, Facebook, or the website. But if you do show up and you're not feeling well, don't come. Uh, stay home for, for the sake of, of everybody else here. Uh, if you do have a fever that is equal to or above 100.4, we will ask you to go home, maybe go to the doctor before you go home, uh, depending on if your doctor is open or not. Um, that is something that, that we have to require right now and again, for the foreseeable future. It won't take long. We have contactless uh, uh, thermometers. Uh, it is going to be a hopefully pretty quick process to get you through the doors and into the worship center. Third, we have hand sanitizer available to everyone who comes to the church. Uh, we've got them in the foyer, we have them in the worship center. Take advantage of them, they're there for you. Uh, as you go in, grab some. As you go out, grab some. Why not, right? It, they smell good, uh, they smell clean, they kill germs. It's a good practice. Fourth is distanced seating. So we're going to be closing off every other row when you come into the sanctuary. Uh, hopefully this will be, once again, a, a practice that we don't have to do for a super long time, but for the foreseeable future, we will be only operating every other row. Um, rows that are clearly marked as closed are meant to be closed. So rebels, listen to me. Don't hop over a rope or, or step over a cone or disregard a sign because we will ask you to move in front of everyone. It'll be embarrassing. It'll be awesome. Don't make us do that. Um, you're also going to need to sit two seats apart from the next nuclear family over. So let me give you for an example. I have a wife and three kids. Let's pretend for a moment that my wife doesn't help lead worship and that I don't preach and teach. We're just a regular family coming to City on a Hill on August 23rd, that Sunday. Uh, we will come in. We will be able to sit next to one another, all five of us 
five chairs in a row next to one of us. But on either side of us, there needs to be two empty seats before the next nuclear family. If you have uh, one kid and one spouse, then that would be three seats together. If you have you and another person that live together, it would just be those two people. Hopefully you're married if you live together or you're just roommates. That's a side issue, come talk to me about that. Um, if you have friends or relatives that are in other households that do not live with you, they need to be two seats apart from you. Okay, that's just the, the again, safety protocol that we're putting into place. Um, we Hear me when it says, we don't like these protocols. We don't want these things in place. I would rather open the doors and have all 400 people in there praising Jesus together with us. That is what we are aiming towards. Hopefully we get there soon. But in order to get there, we got to start somewhere. And this is where we're starting. So just bear with us, please. I know restrictions are boring and horrible, but we got to do what we got to do. And we're not going to grumble about it. We're going to be gracious and we're going to be thankful that God is moving us in this direction and, uh, and, and praise him all throughout even the things that we don't like. Now, the question is, how do you get a seat? Right? Because there's a limited number of seats. 100 people is our max capacity for each service. We do have a little bit of wiggle room in there, uh, and there are a couple of special examples that could come up that we are going to keep that number, that buffer in place for. Plus, we have uh, praise members, uh, praise band members, and, and volunteers as well that we need to account for. But how do you get registered? If you've been watching services for the last like almost six months, you have heard me say, in nearly every welcome to download the Church Center app. Uh, we are asking you once again to download the Church Center app because this is how you do this. This is how you register for uh, church on Sunday. Every Monday prior to the Sunday up upcoming, so on August 23rd, it would be the Monday before that, uh, we will have you get onto the Church Center app, go to registrations, and you will find an event called worship service for whatever date. You will click on that. You will register not only yourself, but everyone in your household. And once you are registered, you'll get an email that, that shows that you are in fact registered. When you show up to church, you will open that Church Center app up again and click on the check-in button. And it will populate a, a QR code. If you don't know what that is, um, someone can help you with this as you get into the worship service, but you will uh, populate a QR code and the people who are helping there in the front will scan you in and you will be checked in and at that point assigned an area to uh, be seated in. We will have people helping usher people in to find where they're supposed to be seated as well. So look for that. We're not expecting you to do all this on your own. There's gonna be plenty of help along the way. Now with that being said, if you're somebody who really just struggles with technology, maybe you don't have a smartphone, maybe you do, but you just don't really know how to work all of this and this makes you nervous, you can call the main office at, as well at 817-451-5513 and we will register you and your household for you. Uh, so that is uh, an option as well. Now, what if we have over 100 people register? What if like 200 of you get very brave and decide you want to come to church on Sunday. What that will mean is we will then open up a second service at 9 a.m. Now that's before the 1030 service. I realize that's a little weird, but uh, we don't really want to have church at noon. So um, in order to not mess up the flow of the 1030 live stream, we want to start there and then we will push to a 9 a.m. service that will actually meet before. So really like you, if you're late to the party registering and everyone has already registered before you, you get to come earlier, which is kind of a bonus if you think about it. Um, hopefully that'll happen. We, you know, we wanna see as many people be excited about this as possible. But for those of you, again, who don't feel comfortable with coming to church, you wanna to continue to socially distance at home. Um, those of you with health, underlying health issues, um, we are not casting judgment upon you. We are firmly in support of your decision to stay home as long as you stay connected. And, uh, and, and for you, that will mean continuing to do what we've been doing, which is uh, get on either YouTube or Facebook or the website at that 1030 mark and interact with the service. I will still be going live at 10 a.m. and uh, we'll, we'll do our little hangout time for about 20 to 25 minutes, let my kids drive y'all crazy in the background as well, because they probably will be there uh, at the church with me while Jessica is getting ready for worship. And I uh, look forward to seeing you all in there as well. We just want to extend to you from our hearts this idea that whether you are on in, in one camp or the other, 
that we need to have mutual love and respect and honor for one another. And, and if that means that you do not believe that coming together right now is the smart choice, that you at least show respect and kindness to those who desire to do so. On the flip side, if you're somebody who desires to come to church on the 23rd and be a part of this live stream service, we just ask that you would be patient and kind towards those who don't, and that you'd be patient and kind towards us who are having to implement some protocols for uh, safety and responsibility, that we would do all things uh, that is pleasing unto Jesus. That is our ultimate goal. In summary, on August 17th, that's the Monday before August 23rd, that Sunday service, we're going to ask you to get on the Church Center app and register yourself and anyone in your nuclear family who plans on being in attendance on that Sunday, August 23rd. Of course, if you uh, are, are not comfortable with the app, then you can also call the front office. We're happy to do that for you uh, at, at any point throughout the week. We recommend it early so that you get a space. Of course, we will open up that second 9 a.m. service if we go beyond that 100 person capacity. When you arrive, uh, remember that we, we're going to ask you to wear a mask until you get in and are done singing. And then at any point, if you have to get up and when you leave, the mask will be required as well. We're going to provide hand sanitizer for you uh, that is positioned in the foyer and in the worship centers. And we're going to ask you to sit at least two seats apart from the next nuclear family. And we're going to help you get to your seats so it shouldn't be that much of a, a problem uh, as you arrive. You'll check in. Uh, we'll have people there to help you with that and find where you're going on that morning. We are so excited to see you at 10.30 a.m. on August 23rd for our very first Sunday morning live stream with a live audience in anticipation for eventually reopening the church. We cannot wait to get to that point, but we have to start somewhere, and so here we are. Um, God bless you. See you then.